Welcome to the Fail Forward podcast. The purpose of this podcast is change the negative stigma around failure into a positive. Failure is only a negative if we do not learn from it and we give up. Welcome back to the Fail Forward podcast. So today I'm going to be talking about parenting whilst running a business or having a stressful job or just having general stresses in life because I have seen a a complete contrast in two situations within the business when business was good Esme, my daughter, who's now six, was born and I had plenty of time to be able to spend with her. And then also Ned, my son, who's three, was born uh, the year just a few months before the business went under. So I saw the two different scenarios with great. It was really good for me to to look back now and see the different scenarios for what they were. So I'd just like to start by saying that I again, I'm not an expert in mental health, psychology, parent child psychology or anything like that. I can all I can do is just talk about my own experience and how I see that and just different things that I do now and just different ideas and advice that I can give because I believe parenting is a tough thing. There's no manual to it. We're not taught how to be parents. And whilst running a business, it can be really difficult to um, be there for your children, for to, to bond with your children. So take you back to um, when Esme was born six years ago. Business was good. I had a good good team around me. Um, money was money was good. And I took quite a bit of time off um, work. And I got to spend quite a bit of time in the first year of Esme's life. I managed to be able to help my wife, Sarah, we bonded massively um, because I was there all the time and being able to spend that time with her and I didn't have the anxiety and stress of of life um, and business around. Um, and that really helped me connect with Esme. And then rolling on three years after, suddenly times were difficult when I first realised there was massive problems that we there might be a chance that we'd lose the business. Sarah was heavily pregnant. She was eight months gone with Ned and that's when I really first started to realise that there were problems and as you can imagine over that time I was highly stressed Um, I had lots of anxiety you know I was coming in from work and I wasn't being present me and my wife were um, debating or arguing some people might like to say depending on how you talk call it call an argument um, about it all and it really put a, a pressure on my relationship with Esme and um, and my wife. But the main thing it did is when Ned was born, I wasn't really present. So I wasn't round for the first year. And, and when I mean wasn't round, of course, I was at home at times. But when you have a stressful job, a stressful business or things going wrong, quite often that spo- spills over into your personal life and you're not present. And when you're not present and you're either stressed about something, you're agitated, you're constantly like my thing is I was constantly checking my phone, emails, bank account, um, what's going on, you know, contacting staff members, et cetera, et cetera. You're constantly attached to my screen or my laptop trying to work out solutions because you've got millions of problems going on. So you're trying to work out solutions for that. So you're not being present. And it really, really um, made me struggle to bond with Ned in the first year and it was heartbreaking really because it was my son I always wanted a boy um I love having a daughter as well um but you know I always wanted to have a boy my nan uh, bless her uh, not with us anymore she always wanted me to have a boy because my surname is Dutch um and I would be the only guy been left in this country to keep the name going in the UK so that all the pressure was always on so I finally got my baby boy Ned and the first year I couldn't bond with him because it was so stressful and I see it all the time now where p- parents and people struggle to to bond. And I'm not talking about just dads and talking about mums. You know, there are, it, the world we are now, everyone is working and we've got highly stressful jobs or businesses. And it does take our, our attention away from our children. And it really made me realise that comparing the two, I wanted to be more like the dad in Esme's first year and I never wanted to be like the dad I was in Ned's first year and it really gave me this impactful insight into the two scenarios and that helped me 
realize and i had this epiphany moment that our children are only young for a certain amount of time you know they're only really dependable on us for like 10 years which is a fraction of our life we're going to average like age live to 80 that's like the most smallest fraction of our life and suddenly they're grown up and they don't need us anymore and they're not needing us so i think it's really important that one um we we look at that and I, lo I looked at that as a as a person of who, who the father I wanted to be. I didn't want to look back and regret my life and think, oh, time flicked away. I didn't get to spend the time I wanted with my children. And that's why in this episode, I really wanted to talk around that because I don't think as as people, we we see that enough that we need to take time out to spend it with our children. We need to find those times in the day, whether it's first thing in the morning, like I was talking about my winning formula last month. That's why I spend the first part of the day with my children, because I can't guarantee, I now run four businesses, and I can't guarantee that I'm always going to be there, or if I am, I'm going to be fully present in the uh, evening, afternoon. You know, I make sure I spend time with them at weekends, and this is what I wanted to talk about in, in this episode, is to say it's it's okay to be busy and not present but you've got to try and find the time because I don't want anyone to look back at their lives and regret that they 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 were so taken up by their work or their business that they missed out on those really valuable times of when they were young when they needed you the fun times because having children is tough they need you they want you it's not easy and then adding a business in or a highly stressful job is even more tough and then also living a life in the future of regretting that what you've done in the past so I just wanted to put it out there that it's okay to feel like this it's okay to not be okay sometimes it's okay to admit that you're not being fully present but I want people to to see my mistakes and see the contrast I had whether you've got children now or you've looking to have children to make sure you're committing some time, you know, whether, you know, people, I know other people do it where they block bits out of their diary to spend time with their children. And it sounds ruthless that, oh, well, somebody needs to do that. Somebody needs to block time out. But yeah, you do. You need to block time out to say, this is the time I'm going to put my phone. So I have a K safe box, which is a box. It's a Perspex box. Um, and it's got a timer on it and you can put anything you want and it will lock it in that box. You can't get it out unless you smash it with a hammer for anything up to two weeks. And some days I get home from work and I know I've not spent enough time with my kids and I'll chuck my phones in there. I've got two phones and I'll chuck them in there and set it for an hour. So I know for the next hour, my attention is not being taken. I am, I am having to be present. So there's lots of different tactics you can do. So it's just trying to find what that is and... You know, someone said to me, um, replace when you say you don't have time for something, replace the word time with priority. And when you say I don't have time to do this, you're saying this is not my priority. So if you say to yourself, I don't have time to spend with my kids, then basically what you're saying is they're not your priority. And that's quite chilling when you when you do that and as soon as that I think it was Jeff my coach actually I can't remember if Jeff listened out there reach out and tell me if it, if it was you or not but um it's quite chilling when you do that because then I started realizing I was saying I don't have time for my kids and I was like oh, I, they're, they're the most important thing to me you know what the things we value are the things we do the most and if we're not spending time with our children can we really say we value them so I'm not trying to point fingers at anybody here. I'm not trying to make anyone feel bad in, 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 if you're sat there at home now listening to this going, I really don't spend enough time with my kids. But I believe that there's always a time that you can draw a line in your sand and make a change. And that it's OK to admit when you say, actually, I'm not spending enough time with my children. And parenting's tough. It's tough even in the best scenarios. It's not easy. There's no rule book. There's no manual for it. But the last thing I want is anybody to, to regret the time they've had on this planet. And if I can just share my experiences to help people out there, then that's really important to me. So, so you know, I would just challenge anybody to really think about what it is you need to do to be present and to be in the room around your children because it's really important to me um, and it might not even be this might you might be listening to thinking I'm not got children I don't plan to have children well it might be something similar spending time with your pets to spending time with you know parents 
partners, friends, whatever it is, is making that time because relationships is what life's about. And that's what I believe relationships with people is what life's about. And we are all social beings. And it's really important that we don't all look back at our lives and regret the things that we haven't done to look back and just think about the good things that we have done. And that's a really key focus. So that's really what I wanted to talk about today. I hope maybe some parts of this has helped. If it has, please like and subscribe to the channel. Please share it. If you've got any tips you want to give me or anything you want to reach out to me about parenting and children and relationships, please drop me a message. Um, in the next episode, I'm going to be talking about winging it and self-development and the difference between the two and my experience with winging it and self-development and what that means. So I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks all for listening. Music